what's going on all right so it's 5 30 in the morning we are in key largo and we are going for swords it's my first time junior's been a few times for swordfish um i've read about it it's on my bucket list it's a huge thing uh for me that i really really want to accomplish um, but i've never actually physically put my hands and put the work in that i've learned and read about so today is going to be an epic day because we are going to put a swordfish on the boat we're going 30 miles out it's five knots right now in february so it's outstanding it's supposed to build to like nine knots um got a new lp on the boat so you could say things are getting serious serious i'm ecstatic marcos is ecstatic trying to put something on the boat well he's putting ice on the boat so he's putting <laughs> something on the boat but well let me get off of this thing and uh, start helping. All right, keep you guys in touch. Yeah, trying to figure out how to strap in the LP so we don't have a mishap. How many people does it take? Okay, mm -hmm. it since it doesn't go through. Oh, we go this way. You know, come up. I see you know, coming from. guys so we have arrived to the swordfish spot we're about to start rigging up right now uh, we kind of passed the spot a little bit so then we can drift by it um, just because you guys gotta remember we're in uh, 1400 feet of water so it takes a good bit number one to get set up but number one just to get that weight to the bottom it takes a while so if you set up on the spot and drop you passed it already you know, even though you're drifting a lot of a spot, but if you just want a specific, you know, place, got to pass it up by a bit, drop, and then obviously, you know, you'll drift over. Yeah. So we're getting it in. Marcos is getting behind the wheel. Junior's going to meet me back here, and we're going to start rigging everything up. Uh, try to get you guys as much footage as you can so you can join us on the next Swordfish trip. If this raw would have fell, would have taken the whole cleat with it. Huh? If this raw would have fell, would have taken the cleat with it. <laughs> hey, bro, I didn't want to go nowhere. <laughs> what we need to go. What we got going on here? Oh, flags in your face. Hey. Flag in the face? <laughs> Hello, I'm here. I represent an extreme outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> we got our rigged eel. And, part, yeah, we can't show you this. Yeah, we can show you this is the glowing squid. We're gonna go ahead and put it at the light. That's how you charge it up. And we're charging this sucker up right now. So you guys charge it up because it's a, it's a a glow squid. Yes. So yeah, the sun helps, but when you get direct like that close, it really really amplifies that glow down there. Oh yeah. A few tricks and trips. Tricks and tips. We got some chips and dips. Chips and dips. <laughs> super <laughs> gel. We want to do it. We kind of just want to. It's very super. Inject this in. Oh. Okay. That's a, new, that's a new one on me. And it smells like sweet, sweet shrimp. And we're trying to catch pumpkin swordfish here. Pumpkins. So. We want to eat a pumpkin swordfish. It ain't Halloween, but we catch pumpkins. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Double cream. No, the magnet. Light. Right. Swivel. Damn. I want to make sure it works. Oh yeah, working. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> don't want to start off that way. I don't want to start off tangled, that's for sure. <laughs> you start off tangled, you guys won't know till a very, very long time. So that's the thing is, once you're down there, it takes, you know, I mean, it, your bait stays down there for quite a while. Yeah, 30 minute drifts. So yeah. 30 minute, 45 minute, an hour drift. Well, then all of a sudden, well, heck, you didn't know the whole entire stinking time you were tangled. So you try to kind of get it right as best as you can the first time and let it go from there. All right, guys, so we have just dropped it 1,593 feet. So we're kind of backing up right now just to let that weight hit the bottom. Then we're going to pick it up a little bit and then uh, start to drift. Go up a little bit. Yep. Up. We've been at the first spot for about two hours now. Um, not productive. Haven't seen, haven't got a hit or anything. We've even had the flat line out with a live pilchard, and nothing's hit there either. So we are changing spots as we speak. We got Junior behind the LP. He's reeling it up right now to switch to switch uh, switch it up. So it's not very far. I'm gonna go maybe just. A, a mile down here and then hit it up again we might switch baits might put an eel on this time we have a, a lady fish on it at the moment so see switch it up you know it's it's a numbers game how many drops you do how many outs you go <laughs> the rods getting full of man of war non-stop there's so many man of wars out here guaranteed you go for a swim it's gonna hurt Keep seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro! It's, and it's opposite of the way. Yeah. It's opposite of the boat, you know. It's like. All right, guys. So we think we got a hit. It, it's acting like there's something on there. It, it could just be sun exposure, and we've been out here and dehydrated. But sure looks like we got something going on on that tip. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but. It's kind of stop, it's stop and drag too. Coming up now, whatever. Yep, it's stopping the drag and it bring up a little and it'll stop drag, so. Oh, Whew. you seen it, right? Yeah, and that was the black hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, stay with us. Excitement, nerves, everything, man. If this is a swordfish on here, <laughs> I think we're all going to be extremely happy. Yeah, yeah. Extremely happy. It's time to break out those celebratory uh, drinks you got. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here it comes, here it comes. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh damn, we're gonna reset here. Okay, wait, 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 don't unclip it unless, feel it, feel it, it's free. Feels free, I feel the bait. Looks like it's caught up. Oh, yeah, it's part of the front. In the front. Part of the loop. Yep. On the eye. Reel it in. Oh, no. Look at the bait. Okay. Is that look like you got hit? No. Yeah. Not yet. 
squeeze by. False alarm, guys, false alarm. All right, so what we thought was a bite was a bite. We got everything up to the top. We were checking the bait, the last bait, and as soon as we got it to the boat, the swordfish was cruising the top of the water. Easy 150 pound swordfish. Uh, we all went crazy. He swung around again to the side of the boat. We saw him again. Beautiful. So definitely was a bite. I don't know if, if he got tangled in the mono on the way up or who knows. But that was pretty epic just to lay our eyes on a, on a sword. What do you think? My adrenaline is still going. <laughs> definitely awesome for the first fish for sure. All right, well, that's kind of like a half a check mark on the bucket list just to see one. <laughs> so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh, we're going to give another 30 minutes, probably change out that bait because we're, we're both, we're all, all of us were looking at the bait like, nah, it does look hit. I was like, nah, I don't think it looks hit. Junior was like, nah, I think it is hit. And all of a sudden we look off and there he is cruising by like, yeah, it was me. So, but it's the name of the game and part of it right now got the mad scientist behind the reel ah. <laughs> Mark's by the steering wheel again <laughs> and me supervising so <laughs> we're doing good I guess we got one hit and brought one swordfish up so hey on the way back in what a beautiful beautiful afternoon Check it out. Day started at 5 in the morning. We're on the boat by 5.45. And it is now about 5.45. And I would say it was a very eventful sword fishing trip. It was my first time sword fishing and outstanding. I could say, you know, I, I've read a lot, I've seen a lot, but I've never actually put it down. So Junior's been doing a lot of homework and studying and figuring out the do's and the don'ts and he's gone a few times, but we actually put it down. I mean, we really did a pretty dang good job. We got a bite, we got a sword fish to the boat. Um, I guess the line must have got tangled on him or something. Um, we weren't able to get footage of that. I literally just turned the GoPro off as soon as we saw it and junior did the same thing turned his off as soon as he saw it so we are entering the channel as we speak it was a little dark i know but we're entering the channel we had that swordfish literally like i don't know 10 feet once from, from the boat twice because he swam that way and then swam back and then uh superman over here did the uh, <laughs> move <laughs> and that guy literally man it looked like something from the matrix he went <laughs> yeah, the I threw the harpoon at him hey you gotta try what you gotta try right you gotta try to get one on the boat somehow thank you guys for hanging out with us and coming along for the ride can't wait to get back at it and bring you guys some more material but as for now stay extreme and see you on the flip side <laughs>